Okay, so in this tutorial, um, it's going to be a very basic introductory series on creating something called an ugly monster. Um, this is for my students. Um, a lot of times they get caught up on the specifics of like, you know, trying to create something that's video game worthy or gorgeous or whatever, when really they should create complete process pieces like this ugly monster. And I'm actually controlling him, like I'm holding shift to make him run, I'm walking around. So I want them, this tutorial is more about how to um, just create anything, sort of a monster, the entire process of making the monster, rigging him, and um, um, creating the zebra sculpt and texturing him. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up ZBrush, so I'm going to pause the video. So now that we're in ZBrush, um, your default layout probably looks something like this when you first open it up. Maybe the color palette will be a little different, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what you want to do first is hide our light box. So I'm going to go ahead and hit comma. And then I'm going to go to document and I'm going to click double. Mine is already set to double. I have my preferences. And that's going to give you a window that's as big as this. So let's go ahead and start to um, make a rough shape of my ugly monster. I'm going to go kind of quick because uh, I want to keep the videos at around five or six minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is just click on Simple Brush here. And I'm going to select Z-Sphere. And I'm going to drag that out. And once I'm done, I'm going to hit the T key. And what that's going to do is it'll open Edit Mode or activate Edit Mode here. And that'll allow me to draw on my sphere or draw on my Z-Sphere. Now, what you'll notice right off the bat is that um, you can create by clicking on it these individual Z-Spheres. What I want to do is I want to create my character um, with symmetry on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the X key, X is in Xerox, and you'll notice that two green dots appear. Now the way to get your um, two spheres, because we're going to create shoulders right now, um, on the sides here, is just by simply um, draw, going to the furthest point on the sphere before it disappears, before we kind of roll off. So I'm just going to place it right on the sphere. I'm going to left click and hold down. And that's going to go ahead and create two shoulder spheres. So um, right now, you might not be comfortable with moving around in ZBrush. So I'm going to sort of cover that as well. So if I want to sort of rotate around my Z spheres here, I'm just going to left click out here in this black area or the gray. And what you'll notice is I can kind of, I can rotate around my character here. Okay. Um, if I want to pan, I'm going to hold the Alt, A-L-T key, and just left click in the black area and it'll allow me to pan. Now what's interesting is that in order to zoom, I just have to release the Alt key and, with, and I'm still holding the left mouse button down. So let me say that one more time. I'm holding the Alt key down and the left mouse button and they're both compressed together. Now if I remove the, release the Alt key and I continue to compress the left mouse button, I can zoom in and out. All right? So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to actually move, I'm going to rotate down so I'm looking at the top of my sphere here. I want to move these so they're more parallel with my um, sphere because imagine that at this point we have two shoulders here and they're pushed forward. So I'm going to hold the shift key down as I rotate. So I'm moving around. I'm going to hold the shift. This is after I've already started rotating and you'll notice it snaps from the top. I'm going to come up here and just click my move tool. You can also use the W key. I'm just going to move these back so they're a little straighter. See that? Now I want to go back to being able to draw back on my Z spheres. So I'm just going to click back on draw, draw out uh, what could be an elbow, holding shift again. I'm going to select move and just move these out. Now I'm running out of space on my canvas. So one more time, I'm going to hold alt and left click. That's going to allow me to pan. So I'm going to center it a little bit. I'm going to release the alt key and just zoom out a little bit here. So you'll notice me panning and zooming a lot. And that's something you might want to practice before we you know, pause the video and kind of practice moving around. All right, so I'm going to draw out at this point another sphere, select my move tool and pull it out, double check my top. And I'm just kind of looking for something with a little bend of an elbow. And you can, again, you can kind of click on each one of these spheres. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create a neck here. Now I'm going to click back on draw. And what you'll notice is as I move, you know, on, in the symmetry mode, I know that I can actually create only one Z-sphere. If I just move it to the top, you'll notice it snaps to a green circle. So I'm just going to left click and drag out a neck. I'm going to drag out the top part of my skull here. 
going to go to a side view here, hit W, just kind of move this up. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, how does this look like a mesh, or how, what would you sculpt here, right? ZBrush is a high-poly sculpting program. If you hit the A as an Apple key, it'll allow you to see what the mesh is going to look like, all right? So I'm going to hit A again, A as an Apple, and it's going to bring me back into Z-Sphere mode. Click my draw, and at this point, I'm going to kind of move a little quickly. So I'm going to go here, sort of create the abdomen, because I'm already hitting the five-minute mark. Hit W, pull this down. I'm going to start using more hotkeys, so I'm going to hit T to enter draw mode again. Oops, I should have hit Q. So if you ever get to this point where you've hit T, which I've kind of messed up, and now I'm just dragging out a bunch of guys, what you can do is just hit Control N. Redraw one person, and just click back on edit, and now you're back in edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and draw two hips. Go to my side view, hit W, sort of move that back into place. Now, what would be nice is if he had some sort of um, another Z-sphere in the middle between these two to kind of give him a more of an arch or a belly. So all you have to do is click on Draw, and then just click back in the center. And you'll notice it creates one for you. So I'm going to hit W, and I'm going to move that forward. And again, I'm getting a really nice arch there. I'm going to move up, hit Q, drag out a knee, hit W, pull that down. And I do want it shifted forward uh, slightly. All right, hitting Q again, and just bringing this guy down now. Oops, let's hit W. Now I'm going to purposely make a mistake here, okay? So um, before I make that mistake, I want to make something clear. I want you to make sure that your character has straight legs. It's going to help with the rigging process or the building the bones later. Say I hit Q and I added a bunch of z-spheres here all over the place that I didn't want. And now I'm stressing because I'm like, oh my god, how do I go back? You can hit control Z, or say you added a z-sphere way up here, but you like the work that you did down here, and you don't want to go all the way back. You can hold the alt key while in draw mode, and you'll notice a little minus sign appears. You can see it right there on the circle. So if I click on each one, you can see it's back to normal. So let's hit A. And I'm going to end this particular tutorial here. We actually hit the seven minute mark. Um, and I'm just going to go to File. And I'm going to save it to my desktop in a folder called Ugly Monster. All right. So ugly underscore monster. I suggest you do the same on your hard drives. Then we're going to go into that folder. And I'm going to type in Z Spheres. And then hit Save. All right, we're going to start sculpting um, in the next video.